welcome to Essence Chanel TV. It's your girl Essence Chanel. First things first, if you have not, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the alerts for whenever I post new videos. But today, I am back with another video on things you must do in order to start trading Forex, like live trading. So there are so many steps. And as a beginner, whenever it comes to, you know, trading Forex live, there's it's, it can be overwhelming and there's a lot of obstacles that I went through as a beginner just wishing that I had the same guidance or wishing I knew what I did maybe like a year ago. But it's okay because, you know, this allowed me the opportunity to be able to, you know, tell you things and recommendations that I figure will help you guys as a beginner trader. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So things you must do in order to start trading live. First thing is to set up your, meta, I mean, download MetaTrader 4. So MetaTrader 4 is a platform that we, you know, take our trades on. Two, you want to set up a broker account. Your broker account is going to be for how you fund and withdraw deposits from your actual, um, you know, trading account. And then three, you want to download and sign up for TradingView.com. Four, you want to learn the basics of the Forex market. And five, you want to get a trading journal. And six, have an entry and exit strategy. So... When we're talking about MetaTrader 4, like I said, MetaTrader 4 is an app that you trade Forex on, you can trade stocks on, indexes, futures. This is how you will place your trades. And you can download MetaTrader 4 on any smart device from the app store. It can be installed on your laptop as well. But personally, I definitely recommend that everybody just use, you know, like their smart device, like their uh, phone, iPad, really downloading the MetaTrader 4 to your laptop. is kind of old. So, you know, it's a lot of extra stuff. And with the phones, it's very simple, very easy um, to do. So, you know, that's first thing. That's how you're going to place your trades in this market is by, um, you know, MetaTrader 4. So like I said, the next thing you want to do is you want to start setting up a broker account. So there are many different brokers that you can choose from. Um, pick the one that best suits you. So for me, I have two broker accounts. I use KOT Forex and I also use Hugo's Way. So um, you must have a broker to trade this to trade this, and how you will fund um, your trading account and make withdrawals. So like I say, you, you got to have a broker account. That's what you have to do in order to fund your trading account. You cannot upload a debit card or anything like that to MetaTrader 4 and, you know, deposit money. It's not like that. So um, also when you are setting up your broker account, you do have to do the KYC verification. So you must have an ID, a passport, you know, any government um, identification and a bill or bank statement to prove, you know, um, number one, your real plan. And also... Um, one thing is when you are doing this, your address that you currently live at does not have to match the address on your ID. And um, also, they do not take screenshots. So you can't just screenshot a bill and upload it. It has to be like, okay, you, a physical picture and then you're going to upload it. So leverage recommended. For me, I always use 500 leverage, one out of 500. Um, it's basically the use of borrowed from borrowed funds from your broker to increase your trading position beyond what you actually have in your account so basically just gives you more room to move in the market compared to like a, a 50 leverage and this is where you're going to create your live and your demo account so whenever you're creating you know your demo account that's just virtual funds for you to you know play around with now i will say whenever you are doing your virtual um your demo account you need to be realistic because in reality it goes from like a hundred dollars up to a hundred thousand dollars so in reality you're not going to be depositing a hundred thousand dollars so you need to stick to something that's realistic like a hundred five hundred a thousand even then so you know what you can play with because if you have a hundred thousand dollar account and you're just taking trades it's going to be like mm, oh well because it's not my real money and also it's like oh, okay if i lose this money it don't even matter i had a hundred thousand dollars oh now i got like you know ninety eight thousand no you need to be more realistic because when it comes time to your live account for you to trade on your live account you're not going to have that same mentality so um basically be realistic and um really just if you guys need you know need to know the website this is going to be you know the klt forex website i highly recommend klt forex i definitely do like them um you know their starting deposit is ten dollars you know the leverage goes to 500 and so on and they have 55 currencies 104 stocks, 31 cryptos, eight indices or indexes, whatever you want to call it. But um, this is going to be the website for KLT Forex. And whenever you um, are ready, you're just going to go to sign up and then boom, you know, um, well, sign up and then boom, you know, you're going to have to fill out all that information and go through the motions of everything. So um, 
back to the presentation. Next thing is going to be tradingview.com. Everybody needs to have a tradingview.com. The reason why you want to have a tradingview.com is because that's how you're going to see the overall you know, chart. So it's better to have trading view. Really, to be honest, when it comes to trading, I recommend you have a laptop. I'm not even going to cap. A lot of people be like, oh, you don't need one. It's very hard to do everything on your, your phone. It's very hard to look at a screen rather than, you know, having a laptop is more easier to navigate. You can actually see the overall picture of the chart. So um, trading view is where we go to mark up our charts to see the overall movements of a pair. Um, has all the charting tools you need. Um, you can share trade ideas, learn from others across the world, and even use indicators to confirm trades. And then, um, you know, you can download the app, download it on your app store, and it's also a website on your laptop. So it's not going to be an app that you download. Like if you have a MacBook, it's not going to be that that you download like as a desktop app. It has to be on your phone. And then for the website, um, I'm going to use the website like on Safari. So let me go to tradingview.com so you guys can see so this is the platform tradingview.com and um like i said this is just you can see other people's you know ideas about certain pairs you can look at you know the markets you know the different type of cryptocurrencies the charts and stuff like that so for example if we were to go to just a, a regular chart just like a regular chart here, you guys can get the overall movement instead of looking at, you know, just your small little screen on your phone or whatever the case may be. It's very easy for you to chart and mark up your um mark up your charts. You have all these different tools that you can use to mark up your charts on here and so on. A lot of indicators you can also use. This is indicator heaven, but I'll be getting into that on my next video. Just really want to show you guys the basics of what you need to have. The basics on what you need to have whenever it comes to, you know, entering trades or just looking at the overall, you know, trade movement. So, let's go to the next thing. So, learn the basics of the Forex market. So, in order to start trading, you must know the basics of the Forex market. Like I said, what is Forex? What is a buy and a sell? What are currency pairs? What are pips? What are lot sizes and risk management? How to input a trade into MetaTrader 4? How to place your take profit and stop loss? And that's also another video that I'm going to be uploading um, very soon, probably in the next few days on, you know, the basics of the Forex market because you guys need to know this in order to start trading. Like if I have to ask you, you know, what is a buy and a sell? That's why I said there's so much free information on here on YouTube and you can also use baby pips. So just utilize your resources and... The next thing is going to be a trading journal. This is not something you need, but it is something that I recommend. The reason why I recommend that is because you want to build healthy habits in the market when you're a trader. Now, if you're trading on demo, of course, you're going to look at it like, oh, okay, it's not my real money, you know, but it's a difference when you trade on your live. You're not going to have that same mentality that you do on your live account because it's like, okay, this is my real money. If I lose it, you know, so you can't. Um, you can't really build bad habits on your demo account and then go to live account and expect to just be making, you know, profit making money all the time because you don't know really either what you're doing or what is right from wrong whenever it comes to the market. So having a trading journal is very much organization, especially for me. I have to be organized. So um, the trading journal is used to help with your trading goals, build healthy habits when you're trading in the market and to know when why you got into a trade so you must have a goal in mind when you're trading like i want to make a hundred dollars a day if you don't have a goal in mind you're just going to be trading just to be trading just to be you know making money so it's just like if you hit a goal okay stop trading understand whenever you start to become a better trader you do not have to trade every single day me i barely i probably trade like maybe two three times a week i don't even take that many trades because i know that i can maximize my profits and you know two trades three trades and hit my goal and be done you don't want to have the stress of hopping into a trade losing money then you just hopping out hopping in all these trades just to make up the money you just lost so this is definitely going to help you so for me i would say definitely write down every trade you take had I known this when I first started my journey, of course, I feel like I would be further along. But with that being said, you have to just make sure that you have something in mind. When you don't have a goal in mind, you're just going and going and going. You don't know 
when to stop. You don't know like, you know, when to stop trading in a sense. You don't know what you're trying to make in the market. You have to have a goal. So that way when you reach it, boom, you're good. So um, really this is an example of, you know, what I actually have. I have a spreadsheet. The reason I don't really have a journal where I write everything down is because, you know, it can get a little messy. Organization for me is key. So um, really it's the date, pair, why you enter the trade, your goal, your take profit, your stop loss, your lot size, pips, did you win a trade or why? So in this example that I had that actually came from, um, you know, one of my spreadsheets is um, this is the month of May 2020. And the week was May 6th through May 10th. And my goal for the week was to hit $2,500. So with that being said, you know, the market is open um, 24-5. So I started on a Monday. So the pair that I was entering is going to be Euro odd. That's the Euro versus the Australian dollar. And I was going in for a buy. So I have my entry where I entered at for this trade. Um, and my take profit where if it's going for a buy that means the market is going up the exchange rates for a particular pair are rising so um you know i have where i wanted my take profit to be when it hits my take profit that just means it's going to automatically secure my profits for me and then my stop loss is going to be you know if this trade does not go my way it's going to take me out of my trade that way it does not keep on you know going and going in negatives so this is um my place where i have my stop loss and the pips is the amount of pips that i was trying to catch so um, I also have my lot size. The lot size that I was using was a 1.00 and it was $10 per pip. So all I did was take $10, multiply it by 180. And if I won this trade, I would have come, I would come out in $1,800 in profit. So I did win this trade. Why did I win this trade? Cause I entered at uh, something called support. And then how far am I away from my $2,500 goal? I'm $700 away. So May 7th came, did not trade. May 8th came. Okay, here's a pair. This is GA, uh, GBP, AUD, Great Britain pound versus the Australian dollar. And I was going in for a buy. Remember I said buys equal to up. That means the exchange rates are rising for a particular pair. So your in, my entry was here, my take profit here, and so on. So whenever price hit my stop loss, um, I lost $100. That means I just, you know, that's negative 10 pips i lost a hundred dollars why did i lose a hundred dollars because i entered at the wrong market structure so if you know why you lost a trade nine times out of ten whenever you are going to take your next trade you're going to be looking like okay well now i need to look at you know market structure because i entered at the wrong place last time got taken out of this trade you know close to the negatives whatever the case may be building healthy habits being consistent and also having a goal in mind will help you in your journey Yes, it might be a lot, but if you want to ever hit six figures, seven figures, you have to have some type of organization, some type of consistency, a goal in mind. You need to know why you lost that trade. If you're steady in and out of trades and you're losing, 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 and you don't know why, that is the problem you keep on losing because you don't know why you're losing. So this is just something that I created to make sure that I maximize my profits. I understand why I'm entering the trade and so on because this will help you. It will very much help you. So, um, and then, okay, now I'm $800 away from my goal because I lost a hundred. And so May 9th came, um, I entered a sale for USD cat. That's the United States dollar versus the Canadian dollar. So, um, you know, I have all of this and then, um, the pips, if price was to hit my take profit would be 130 pips in profit. I had a 2.00 that's $20 per pip. So I times 20 by 130. If I win this trade, I'm going to come out with $2,600. Boom, I entered. And then um, I won the trade. I won the trade because I entered at, you know, like a high point. And then away from my money away from my goal, zero. Goal hit. So after that, I didn't trade the next day because I've already hit my goal for the week. My goal was $2,500. So total profit for the week. Um, my original goal was, you know, 2,500. My total profit for the week was 4,400 and I exceeded my goal by $1,900. So really having that organization, you know, it, it helps you to see what you are doing. If you're, like I said, if you're just in and out, in and out, in and out, trying to make up money that you lost and you don't know why you're in this trade or why you lost this trade, you will have problems really being a consistent, profitable trader. So, um, 
On to the next thing is an entry and an exit strategy. You have to have an entry and an exit strategy. That means you need to know why you're getting into this trade and how you're getting into this trade. What confirmations do you have in order to get into this trade in order to see profit? So you want to have an entry and exit strategy with strategy with the confirmation checklist. This is how you know when to get in and out of a trade. Choose a strategy that best suits your understanding and practice and apply what you learn to the charts. You must live by your confirmation checklist. If you don't see the confirmations, don't get in the trades. Me, I have a confirmation checklist. My strategy that I came up with that you guys um, are going to see in the future, that, that is my confirmations. So I have a whole list. It might be like six or seven things that I look at in order to confirm my um you know, analysis for a particular trade. So if I do not see one of those things, I'm not hopping in. That's where discipline comes in. You have to be disciplined. You have to be a disciplined trader. So yes, this comes over time, but I'm telling you guys what will help you and what will work for you because I've been there. I've done that. I've done a lot of wrong things, but you can, there's, it's never too late to start doing the right things to ensure that you are actually making money. Because in this trading world, a lot of people don't make money. They either give up, they either start and don't see anything. And that's because, or they don't put in the effort. And like I said, they just give up. So you, if you want to see money, you have to build good habits in the market. You have to be disciplined. You have to be a patient trader. Understand we get paid to be patient. If you anticipate a move and you jump in too early, boom, you can get stopped out, stop loss hit, negatives, now you're sad. So another thing is you have to just learn the charts. When you're trading, it's you and you with these charts. You versus you is your mentality, how you think in the charts. If you're emotional, you're stressed out, don't come to the charts with that. Leave the emotions at the door. You don't want to you know, give the market your money. When you lose trades, what are you doing? You, where's the money going it's not in your trading account it's going right back into the market because you don't know how to enter a trade these are the first steps that you guys want to do in order to be a consistent trader in order to be a profitable trader it's not an easy journey but when you start to believe in yourself when you start doing the right things when you start to see um you know a pattern of consistency you actually start to put in the effort to really take this seriously because it is definitely life-changing it does not matter where you come from your background nothing it doesn't matter as long as you can identify charts um you don't even have to try to be a master trader like none of that as long as you know when to enter when to get out you know why you're entering the trade and you believe in your um you know analysis or you believe in you know your predictions in the market you're good but you don't want to continue to build unhealthy habits because you won't see any money and you're going to want to give up so really um that was all i had please guys if you have any questions for me put them in the uh, comment section follow me on instagram on facebook um also um like i said subscribe to my channel and you know let me know some things that you guys want to see next from me but you know it's time to turn it up it's 2021 let's not be in the same state that we were in 365 days ago it's time to elevate it's time for those quantum leaps right so it's just like look you gotta do what you gotta do your decisions will affect your reality if you decide to make a change today then by all means you might see a change in your reality but if you just you know sitting and watching other people make money and you're still in the same position and you're not happy with your life do something about it do something about it. I dare you to try to do something about it and be consistent with it. Because consistency, hard work is the only thing that's going to get you to a place of success. That's really it. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. I do appreciate y'all being on here. And like I said, let me know what y'all want to see. It's your girl, Esther Chanel, and I'll see y'all next time.